Personal development is all about consciously being aware of who you are and how you show up in the world and making active choices for all of that to be fully in alignment with who you are. One of the questions I get asked most often is how on earth do you start in all of this? Once you've developed an awareness of your own empowerment in choosing the life that you live and a recognition that you want for it to change from where you're at right now, it can feel really intimidating to figure out where to start. And I'm going to guide you through figuring out how to develop your own personal development plan with three easy questions in today's video. I'm Rachel Amanda. Welcome to Rachel Amanda TV, where every week we're bringing you tips, inspiration, and other awesome stuff for living a life you love. And today I'm going to be breaking down for you my three guiding questions for figuring out what your personal development plan needs to look like. This is going to help you to really be able to put down some concrete steps for yourself if you're following along and actually doing the work during today's video to know what actionable steps you need to start taking right now to take the first steps in developing a life you really love to live. So let's get started. The first step is in being willing to take a really open and honest inventory of where are you at right now. Looking at your life, not without... So let's get started. The first step is in being willing to take a really open and honest look of where you are in your life right now. This isn't meant to be about judgment or making a list of all of the things that you haven't done yet in your life or all of the things that you wish were different about you right now. It's just simply about developing an awareness of where are you at in your life right now? What is your level of satisfaction with all of the different areas of your life? Common areas to look at include things like your career, your relationships, both whatever your partnered relationship might look like as well as friendships and, and your other peer relationships. Looking at finances, physical health and wellness, spirituality, these are all very common things to be looking at. You might find that you have your own very specific things that are important to you in your life as well that you want to take a look at as you're creating this really honest assessment of yourself and where you're at in your life right now. What are the things that you can acknowledge that you have succeeded in so far? What are the things that you might feel like need some change or a little bit of work or are just you know feeling a little bit out of balance and like you might want them to be different? Really taking the time to sit in the truth of all of that, to accept, hopefully lovingly, the truth of your life and where it is at right now. Once you've got that sense, it's going to help you to move on to step number two. And step number two is now thinking about where is it that you want to be. Once you have a sense of where you're at, really truthfully and honestly in the present moment, being able to acknowledge both the things that are really awesome about your life and the things that you wish were different, you can start to map out what are those things that you would like to be different. Where do you want to be? Pick a realistic time frame, you know, something over the next six months or maybe a year that you want to be shifting to be different. It would also be really wonderful to be able to take a look at what are your bigger goals for yourself, the longer term things. Where do you want to be living? What kind of career do you really want to be in? All of those sorts of bigger goals that aren't just going to be a fast fix. But focusing mainly on what is true for you right now that you want to be different in the next six months to a year. And the reason that I suggest such a short time frame is that everything in our lives is changing so much, both in our personal lives and in the context of the world as a whole. And so by focusing on those shorter term things, it's much easier to take action, to see measurable progress and all of that sort of stuff. And it's also easier to course correct as you learn new things about yourself, as the world continues to change and evolve so that you continue to be focusing on goals that are really in alignment with who you are in the present moment. So take some time to think about what is it that you want for yourself over the next six months, a year, maybe two years at the longest that are things that you can actively be working on to create in a way that is even better for you than they already are right now. Depending on what your learning style is and what your ways of creatively expressing yourself are, you might want to write these kinds of things down. You might want to draw a picture for yourself or create a mandala that represents these things for you. But getting it out of your head and onto paper or in some other tangible way is a really important step because it's the first step in helping these changes to become real. So make sure you give yourself the gift of some time for that creative expression, whatever is comfortable for you. 
I often suggest to my clients to draw pictures and to, to make something that is a good visual representation. And so I would encourage you to do that also. However, having said that, I also honor each of you for where you're at and what your preferences are. So if you are much better at creative writing or feel more comfortable in writing something down, it's really wonderful to do that too. Whatever it is, make sure that you have a visual representation that feels right for you of what those changes are that you're wanting to accomplish for yourself in all of those areas that make your life rich. And then it's time to move on to the third step of this three-step program. So you've looked at where are you at right now and taken a very open and honest inventory of yourself and your current state of being. You've also drawn a picture or written some words about where it is that you want to be sometime in the next six months, year, or perhaps two years so that you have a really clear picture of the goal that it is that you're working towards. And then finally, this third step is to write down some clear action steps that you know you need to take to get yourself from where you are right now to where it is that you want to be. And you might not know every single step. In fact, if your vision is big enough and bold enough, you probably don't know every single step. But what are the things that you do know that you can do to start moving the, these things forward? And write those down. I love writing each one down actually on a cue card or a recipe card, each step one on a card, so that I can take a look at each piece of that journey as its own piece in the puzzle instead of having to look at the whole thing and trying to figure out how it is that I'm going to accomplish it all. By breaking it down into small and manageable pieces, I'm able to just take a card and look at it and say, yes, I can commit to doing this one action right now or this one action I'm going to focus on over the next week or so, depending on how big it is or how much time it might take me to actually accomplish it. So write down those clear action steps that you know you need to take. And within this, there is a little bit of trust and faith that needs to show up. Because although you might understand very clearly what some of those action steps are, there might be also parts of the process of getting you from where you are to where you want to be that you just need to trust will unfold in the right time. And to be aware that you are looking for those opportunities to see what those next steps look like and to be willing to take action on them as they emerge. So if you don't know all of the steps, and I really hope that you don't, even though it might be an uncomfortable place, know that those steps will emerge. As you take the steps you know to take right now, it will create situations in your life that will help you to reveal what those next steps are that need to be taken once you get to the end of what you already know sitting here today that you need to do. So that's the three-step process. To think for yourself, where am I at right now? Where do I want to be? And how am I going to get there? Those three questions will help you to navigate as you move forward in life. I would love for you to share with us once you're done with these activities. What is it that you're committing to doing for yourself? Where do you want to be? And what are the action steps you know you're going to need to take in order to move your life forward and begin the steps of your own personal development plan? All you have to do is leave a comment below to join the conversation. And as always, if you have learned something from today's video, been inspired, or know somebody who can benefit from this teaching, please take a moment now to share this video with your friends and family on your favorite social media channels. And until next week, get out there, take action, and create a life you love.